Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanna to talk to you about the five reasons I believe that you can be spending more time alone. I have been suggesting to a few clients lately that they could be spending more time alone to help with their health issues. And chances are when I'm repeating myself, surely other people can benefit from this advice as well. And yes, humans are very social creatures. We benefit from having our friends, our neighbors, our family members in our lives. They greatly enrich our lives. However, I feel that we can all be more well-rounded. We can maintain our holistic health better when we do spend more time alone. So I'm going to get into the details, so stick around to learn these five main reasons why you can be spending more time alone, all of which will greatly improve your life. For those of you new to this channel, I'm Brandi Falcon, licensed acupuncturist and owner of Falcon Healing Arts, where I help families heal on all levels through Chinese medicine, distance energy, healing, human design, and the wellness videos that you are getting here. So subscribe and hit the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of these videos. So before we get on to this list of the benefits of alone time, let's talk about what it means to truly be alone and how much time you really need to benefit. So when I am suggesting that you spend time alone, that is what I mean is to truly be alone, away from other people, away from crowds. So even if you don't know these people, you can still be influenced by their energy. And that is what we're going to be talking about a lot here is how influenced you are by things outside of you. And so again, we're talking about removing yourself from other people, um, even your pets. <laughs> you do care for your pets. You are emotionally invested in them. So spending time away from your pets is also what I consider alone time here. Avoiding social media, the news, any other forms of media and music as well. So ambient music is fine, white noise, even binaural beats are probably fine, but nothing that has words, nothing that is distracting and pulls you away from yourself. So I'm not suggesting that you spend all your alone time in meditation. I want to make that clear <laughs> that this isolation is not putting yourself in a cave but that you could still be doing activities just in the company of yourself. So to lessen as many distractions as possible. And just having five to 10 minutes, even that minimal amount of time per day, is probably going to be more useful for you than having larger chunks less frequently. So keep this in mind as we go through this list that this is what I am suggesting and what you may want to commit to. So why do you need to be spending more time alone? This list of five reasons is from a holistic perspective. So how solitude can affect your body, heart, mind, and spirit. Number one is that you can hear and honor the messages from your body. When we are alone, we don't have as much input from the outside world and we're better able to take care of our body's needs. So you're going to notice when you are digesting well or not, when you are hungry or thirsty, when you're getting tired and need to rest, when you have a lot of energy that you can be burning, when you have pain in the body that needs to be addressed. These are all cues that we typically miss when we are busy with our day-to-day -day activities and especially when we are caring for people 
constantly. So moms, yes, I am talking to you. <laughs> but when you spend more time alone, you are more likely to pick up these messages as they arise. And of course, this comes with practice. But with that practice, you will be better able to honor these needs. We can also be spending this time alone with our bodies to focus on pleasure. What does it feel good to do with your body, with your activities, with your hobbies, even giving yourself physical pleasure and the time uninhibited to really explore that. So in essence here, becoming still and quiet on a regular basis is going to increase your awareness. And with practice, this will build your confidence that you can take care of your body easily and it is hugely empowering. The second reason is that this allows us time to get to know our own energy and emotional waves. So this is why I prefer practicing yoga alone at home so I can really tune into where my energy is stagnant, where it is plentiful, and how I can bring myself into balance. So same with emotions. When you're around a lot of other people, there may be some confusion or some distortion about what you're feeling and experiencing whether it is from yourself or others. So if you are empathic, you probably know it because it's probably a frequent phenomenon for you that you are picking up feelings of others. But if you're not sure, you can always look to your human design. It is very clear when you look at your chart, the emotional solar plexus, which is one of the energy centers in human design. If it is open or if it is undefined, Mind, you are empathic. <laughs> you feel other people's emotions and you not only feel them, but you take them and amplify them. So it can be a much stronger experience than if you have feelings bubbling up inside of you. And again, it's really important to know this because you can think you are crazy if this is happening often and you're not able to tell the difference. The third reason is that spending time alone can really expand your creative potential. It is true that spending time with inspiring people, absorbing interesting content, taking courses from experts. These can all give you great ideas that you can make your own and you can then run with them. But if you are too heavily influenced by others, if you are constantly looking to others for your ideas, then you're going to be more constricted. You may feel that you need to adhere to certain systems, to do things in certain ways, maybe even um, create the same mold <laughs> that this other person did, and that does not feel authentic in the end. So spending time in solitude can help you integrate these ideas and let them get bigger, let them become more expansive, where you can really blow off the lid of your creative limits. So even doing something you didn't even think was possible, that is so powerful. So when you are feeling like you are searching for new ideas, you're looking for new content, you're wanting to start a new program, instead of scouring social media for ideas, instead go for a walk or take a bath or even just even activities like cleaning your home where it's something mindful and meticulous you're doing, you're still paying attention to how you're feeling and what you're thinking in the moment. These are all times where ideas may arise from nowhere. And these are the sparkly ideas that may really resonate with your soul. So see if you can look to yourself first as your creative authority. 
So the fourth reason I think you will benefit greatly from spending more time alone is that this allows you to deepen your relationship with yourself and to cultivate self-love and respect. Some people go to great lengths to avoid being alone. And this points to issues with self-love and avoiding feelings usually. Or sometimes people cannot be alone without feeling lonely. So they're always trying to fill this gap, this emptiness that they feel when they're by themselves. And it is so important to recognize if this is something that you are experiencing because people who do this tend to place their happiness on other people with a romantic relationship, even friendships and with your children, you're constantly placing your attention on other people, trying to please them. And that is what the main focus is. And when you're by yourself, you feel more alone and incomplete. So the healthiest relationships are when people can be together, whatever the relationship is, you can be together and feel whole and complete. You can feel happy regardless of what the other person is feeling. So how exactly do you develop self-love? This is actually a really big topic. There is no universal way. There are rows of books in bookstores about this subject, and it's one that you may need support with one-on-one -on -one with someone. This is work that I love to do in my healing sessions with people. Committing to alone time every day and really investigating why it's so uncomfortable. Is it because you're feeling bored with yourself? You don't think that you're interesting. If it's something like that, then I think a really easy fix would be to engage in a hobby, master a skill, find something that you are so into that other people don't need to be into. This is something that you can do by yourself that you can really geek out on where you are begging for time alone to do this. So that could be the second step. And then of course, there is usually some deeper work around that. But the time that you do invest in this process of developing self-love, of course, is very much worth it. The fifth reason why I believe that you can be spending more time alone and really benefiting is that this will increase your spiritual connection. The funny thing is that when you spend more time alone, you realize that you are never really alone. You feel this when you go on a walk in nature, that there is something bigger among the trees, among the flora and fauna, um, that there is this support from the earth, that you have this larger role in the scheme of things. And depending on how deep you go, you can start to receive wisdom from your higher self, from your spiritual guides. And when you've already developed that sensation of knowing what energy is yours, what emotions are yours, and you can distinguish between that and what you're feeling from the outside, you can also start to sense this with your spiritual support. You can tell when it's there and when it is not. You can bring it in when you need it. And having this great depth of connection with your spirit allies, with your more evolved self can pull you out of the darkest times and add greater meaning to your life. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have, please give me a thumbs up. Consider sharing it with a friend who needs it and I'm curious to know if you prioritize alone time how do you spend it? Um, let me know how it's benefited you in your life if you're willing to share. Before you go, check out the description below for a free offer as well as ways to get in contact with me and check out these other wellness videos that can help you in your holistic health journey. Take care, friends.